I thank the chairman, Mr. Rakita, and I rise in strong support of the legislation on the floor today. It's a bill which, if passed by the House and carried by the Senate to the President, will go a long way toward protecting students in our nation's schools. And so I thank the ranking member, Mr. Miller, for bringing this bill up today and for bringing to light an issue that is compromising student safety throughout our country. H.R. 2083, the Protecting Students from Sexual and Violent Predators Act of 2013, will ensure consistent and comprehensive school employee background checks in all states. The bill also includes language from a bill I introduced, the Jeremy Bell Act. This piece of the larger bill blocks federal funding to schools that knowingly hire or transfer teachers involved in sexual misconduct. The Jeremy Bell Act is named after a 12-year-old West Virginia elementary school student who was sexually abused and murdered by his principal, a man that had a long record of sexual misconduct, but who was allowed to transfer and leave schools without punishment and without informing new districts. In the 2010 Government Accountability Office investigations report, it was found that inconsistent state laws regarding background checks facilitated the hiring and transferring of sexual predators in our schools. If by cutting off funds to schools that knowingly pass the trash, we can save one student from Jeremy's fate, then this bill has succeeded. Overall, this bipartisan bill includes student safety measures, including requiring background checks for school employees, a common sense method to better protect our children in their schools. In testimony submitted to a field hearing I held in Philadelphia last Congress, Roy Bell, Jeremy's father, expressed his outrage and his sadness that our education system had failed to protect the life and innocence of his 12-year-old son. Unfortunately, Jeremy's father passed away this weekend, and it is on his behalf and on behalf of all parents and students that I will continue to work to pass legislation that protects our students. And so today I ask my colleagues to consider this legislation and its impact on families across our nation. Mr. Speaker, I encourage quick passage of H.R. 2083 by both chambers and to be signed into law by the President. I thank the Chairman and I thank Mr. Miller for his work on this bill. I yield back. Gentleman yields. Gentleman from California is recognized.